What's up? All right, we are back with another update. And in this video, we look at AMC, APE, and GME. And in this video, I just focus on the technical analysis. In my last video, I updated you guys on the news and everything you need to know. But this video, we just get predictions, technical analysis, and patterns that I'm looking at. So without wasting any more time, let's check out the fundamental data, the news, and see what's going on. Hey guys, you are back with another update with data zero and in this video we're just going to focus on the technical analysis i dropped a video earlier and make sure you check it out i checked, talked about all the news on amc all the glitches all the crazy stuff going on with the market cap tokenized stock everything else but now we're going to focus purely on the technical analysis so guys i want to point out this cup and handle formation so cup and handle formation is a bullish pattern we're going to go ahead and look it up and check it out and see what we're looking for so guys as you guys can see there is a clear line of support and resistance that we are looking for for a cup and handle formation that would be at four dollars and 75 cents so once we get above four dollars and 75 cents which would be the break line here of the cup and handle formation i do suspect to see a large movement to the upside back up to this five dollar five dollar and fifty cent range for amc so all of this accumulation that has been happening here in these lower support zones all this consolidation the steady consolidation up on this up trend has been very bullish as you guys can see we have bullish macd on the four hour and if you look at the daily time frame so we bullishness goes in waves or the macd moves in waves as you guys can see we have this bullish cross forming on the daily time frame which would be extremely bullish as you guys can see every time we have bullish macd we have these large pops to the upside and that could put us in range to test these higher levels of eight to ten dollars and of course we have a clear gamma ramp to these positions as you guys can see if we look at the options chain we if we break above that five to six dollar range we have a clear gamma ramp up to that ten to twelve dollar position if we break above that five to six dollar range which could be very possible if this cup can handle formation breaks out we could break out to that five dollar six dollar range and start moving to the upside if we go ahead and look at indicators that we have for amc that could indicate bullish momentum as you guys can see we have the bullish uh indicator on the four hour time frame for the bullish super trend which indicates a movement to the upside as you guys can see anytime we get this indication we get a nice pop to the upside anytime we get that four hour indicator move to the upside and that is what we are seeing right now <clears throat> So if we go ahead and take that in consider consideration with the Bollinger Bands, Bollinger Bands constrict when a large movement is coming. And as you guys can see, Bollinger Bands constrict to here, large move to the downside. Bollinger Bands constrict here, popped it upside. Bollinger Bands constrict here, popped it upside. As you guys can see, we are above the blue medium line, which anytime it's above the blue medium line, we have a popped it upside. Anytime it's below the blue medium line, we have a popped it downside. As you guys can see, Bollinger Bands are constricting on the four hour time frame, and we are above that blue medium line which means bullish indication to me for a nice movement to the upside so anybody who has been stacking shares in this four to five four fifty to four dollar range is going to be rewarded when it moves to five to six dollars and i personally know a couple people that have been stacking shares in this four to five this four fifty four dollar range i've been showing them how to do it and they've been stacking shares in this four dollar range and it's about to pop to that five dollar range and they will be rolled Awarded. So we are waiting for that movement to the upside and it's going to be a nice move after we had this consolidation and this is part of a three-step process. So this three-step process is a breakout process for this overall two-year downtrend that we've seen on AMC after the all run up to all-time highs. So after two-year downtrend breakout of the falling wedge on two-year downtrend, so we have this pop to the upside. So there's three steps to it. So it's one, it's called uptrend, then it's called rejection, then it's, or it's called Breakout, rejection, consolidation, then uptrend. So we had the breakout. Now we had rejection, consolidation. What happens next after this consolidation? 
uptrend. That is the three-step process to a breakout of this magnitude. And of course, if it took two years to break out, it's going to take some time for the uptrend, but we are going to see that technical pattern play out. And not only on that, we have the fundamentals improving. We have the banks failing. We have all of these things that could potentially trigger and be a catalyst for MOAS. So all we are waiting for is the right news event, the right thing to kick off AMC and make this thing launched. So guys, this is what I'm looking at on the technicals. If we go ahead and look at the weekly time frame, we can see the Bollinger Bands constricting on the weekly time frame with the green weekly MACD, which indicates a large movement to the upside. As you guys can see, a very large movement to the upside when we have that green weekly MACD and we have that Bollinger Band constricting. We have both of those confluence coming together, showing us that we are just waiting for the right moment to actually take off. As you guys can see, Bollinger Bands getting very tight on the weekly time frame indicating a very large move to the upside this is the bigger time frame this is the what you want to look at when in doubt zoom out do not worry about daily price action especially when you're doing swing trading you don't need to worry about daily price action you want to look at the bigger picture catch the bigger moves and make the bigger money and that is not financial advice that is just my personal opinion so guys this is what i'm looking at for the technical analysis for amc let's go ahead and check out gme and see what we are looking at so if we look at gme guys what you can see is the breakout of this falling wedge we had this beautiful beautiful breakout of this falling wedge as you guys can see we had this nice run up this nice pull and if we were to go ahead and just do some basic technical analysis and grab that pole right there so let's go ahead and draw a line for that pole and grab that right there so we're going to go ahead and draw a line boom boom the high to the low and go ahead and hit enter move that over to the breakout point as you guys can see we have a breakout target for gme as of <clears throat> let's see where we're at over 30 and guys, what did I say if GME gets over $30? Things could get absolutely parabolic. Why? Because we have this overall downtrend sloping resistance that if we break, I expect to see a nice pop to the upside. There's little support and resistance after $30 to $28 to $30. And shorts are extremely underwater under that level. So we could see a very, very nice movement to the upside for GME if we break above that 28 to 30 dollar level and there's a lot of indications that is going to happen because we have the bullish indication of this overall falling wedge which is a bullish uh a bullish continuation pattern we also have if we go ahead and pop on some indicators and look at the super trend we have this buy signal on the daily time frame which normally indicates a very very large movement to the upside as we guys can see anytime in history we have this buy signal we have nice pops to the upside on GME now we have this buy signal here on the daily time frame as well so this is looking extremely bullish in my personal opinion and if we look at GME short interest it is plenty of short interest to squeeze 20 percent short interest so stocks normally squeeze off 8 to 10 short in percent short interest we have AMC and GME at over 20 percent short interest AMC at 24.64 percent GME at 21.96 percent GME cost of borrow sitting at about 17 18 percent AMC's cost of borrow sitting at about 210, 200% on average. As you guys can see, the FTDs are racking up. Both stocks have FTDs piling up and are due for T plus 35 closeout date on this month. So this could be bullish pressure for the stock as these have to be purchased out of the market by market makers. AMC's max pain is at five dollars this is something i'm looking at i'm thinking amc will close about five dollars and fifty cents at the end of this week i'm thinking gme will close between twenty five dollars and twenty three dollars by the end of this week if we don't see parabolic action from either of these two stocks i'm thinking amc will close between six to five dollars gme between 25 and 30 dollars this is not or 25 and 23 dollars this is not financial advice but guys this is what I'm looking at for the two stocks as far as technical analysis. Let's go ahead and look at Ape. We're going to look at Ape real quick and then wrap up the video. So guys, as we're looking at Ape, Ape has been trying to bore people, basically shake them out. It's been consolidating in this falling wedge. This falling wedge is a long pattern. This is a several day pattern. And if you take the breakout for the falling wedge, it will take you to about $3.50 
$4. It's a bullish continuation to the upside as this higher high and higher high setup will be continuing and this higher low, higher low setup will be continuing. As you guys can see, higher high, higher high setup and there will be another high at these higher levels at about $4 and $3. Now, if Ape can get above 5 to $10, this thing could absolutely take off. Now, the question is, is all this going to happen before the reverse split? The honest answer is I don't know. The technicals are saying these patterns are going to take time. We could see the breakout come at April 27th or whatever the case may be when the final court case is decided. So, guys, we really need to just rely on the technicals right now and wait for April 27th to see if that's the correct catalyst to make these stocks launch or if it's going to be a bank failure or the collapse of the u.s or something crazy like that as we're seeing the u.s dollar collapse i just dropped a video on that we're also seeing banks collapse we're also seeing us in russia position things in a nuclear war i've been posting about all of this stuff so we have a lot of crazy stuff going on in any of these things could mean the collapse of the hedge funds that holds the short positions to make these stocks squeeze. And I know it sounds crazy, but it is all connected. But if we look at the eight breakout falling wedge you guys can see we had this nice breakout from the retest of the falling wedge and we are now on this overall uptrend of the stock so as you guys can see we had a breakout retest and this is going to lead to an overall higher high setup and i am bullish on ape as you guys can see macd is switching over to bullish we're getting that bullish cross on the macd and if we go ahead and put on the bollinger bands we can see they are constricting on the daily time frame letting us know that a nice pop a nice movement is coming for ape if we go ahead and zoom in you guys can see that we can see on the smaller time frames we have been on a higher high higher low setup so we are in this overall uptrend and i am bullish on ape so guys that is basically the video focused all on technical analysis and fundamental data again i gave you guys price predictions between 6 to 550 on amc between 25 and 23 on gme and between two dollars and one dollar and fifty cent on ape those are highs and lows unless we see the parabolic action then of course those price back action or price predictions will be higher but i'll be covering every single day letting you guys know what's going on every single day giving you guys the information that you need this is not financial advice i'm just some guy on the internet don't trust me but as always have fun stay safe make money peace out all right, guys, that was the video. Hopefully you found it informative. I know I did. If you did, go ahead and drop a like. Subscribe for more content like this. And remember, you can check me out on Discord and Twitter. And as always, have fun. Stay safe. Make money. Peace out.